Tool Workshop. It's wow. like we did this one year ago. Yes, so almost exactly a year ago, uh, you moved into a new workspace. Yes. And we thought it'd be fun to give a tour of what's changed over the year. How does someone take advantage of, how many square feet is this? This is it's about 2,500 square 2, feet. 2,500 square feet of workspace. You've got well, new tools, yeah. you got a lot more different types of gigs, we've been filming a lot more here, so yep. let's walk through it. Yeah, uh, you know, when we first came in here, this was a giant mess. Now we got a chop saw table, another workbench, uh, wood storage, we got everything, everything still on wheels so we can put it wherever we need when we have to spread out. Yeah, um, all these tables, everything on casters. And yes. everything is, uh, a lot of it's, the furniture is custom built. Yeah, uh, we build this, uh, either me or one of the guys that works for me named Nick. Um, we call the furniture Nikia. Mm. Um, so yeah, everything's on wheels, everything moves because the projects are constantly changing. That's right. Sometimes we need more floor space, sometimes we need to push tables together, sometimes we need to be able to get around tables quicker. So everything's always changing. When we first started working with Frank, you were in a space that was one fourth this space. Yeah. And getting a bigger space, it's not just about having more tools, it's about being able to work on bigger projects. Yes. Uh, if you're gonna get build a dragon for uh, for Capcom, yep. for example, or if you can have three different projects happening at once. You or can, like lately, seven or eight projects at once. Yeah, and you have a lot more people working yeah. in here. Yep. Uh, but there are many tools, so yeah. what else you got? Yeah, still got the machine shop, this is still rolling, the lathe is up on the cart now, this thing's all, everything's all hooked up, this is great. More of the Nikia furniture. Yes, yeah. I love taking cues from Adam and his organization. Mm -hmm. And so all of our bolts and hardware are put away, you know, drills and tools and all the screws and drill bits. Like, I like to keep things organized just like Adam. And when you say take cues from Adam, it's not like, oh, you see exactly how Adam stores his stuff and you're going to use that. Because okay. that works for the size of the cave and the workshop there. Yeah. It's about using that first order of retrievability. Exactly. I love this. I love designing all your air tools, everything, all your drills, everything easily yes. grabbable, yep. easily stored, and very organized. And this is all sketched up? <clears throat> yeah, we, we designed this in SketchUp. Uh, Nick and I work together. He physically does the SketchUp, but we talk about how we want things organized and what's going to be the easiest way for everybody to access tools. Mm. Where Adam's shop, it's mostly just him, and he likes to just be able to grab and not have to move. I have a lot of people that need to be able to access the tools easily. And so having places where it always goes is super helpful. Yeah, when you're not working on projects, you're working on shop infrastructure. Yes. All right, yeah. now in this corner, uh, it gets it's divided up here. This yeah, is completely we kinda, new. We kind of, I usually try and keep an open floor plan, but remember I said I wanted a spray booth. That is one heck of a spray well, booth. We got a big, nice open spray booth, so that way if we're using spray paint or if we're painting a, a monster suit or something, this is helping to suck out what little fumes usually come off of these kind of things. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times it's just for dust collection, just help, kind of help keep the dust down a little. So what's going on here? I mean, I've seen people, small spray boots that people set up in yeah. their garages. This is obviously a big one. I see a ventilation. Yeah, there's a giant fan up there which sucks all the air through these filters and up and out the building. Okay. Um, this, is, it's a, this is a really standard spray booth, standard design. You get it from a you know, manufacturer. They're a little expensive, but for the scale of things that we do, this is a great size. Mm. And then a lot of the stuff is also air powered, like yep. this, for example. Still all the drop downs. And, and all I, that is, runs off this compressor. That's yep. a new compressor. Yeah, remember we said, I need a new compressor too. Yes. Guys at Ingersoll Rand reached out and they said, hey, why don't you try out one of these? And this is called a screw compressor and it's super, super quiet. It's got real high CFM, so it powers all the tools when everybody's using the tool at once. Um, it's just a really great, compressor and it's got an air dryer to it so we don't get moisture in the lines. Um, it's awesome. Very cool. Uh, moving down to more Nikia furniture. Uh, um, this is a recent addition. Yeah, you got storage. Yeah, a lot of storage, a lot of, you know, drawers. We're, you know, a lot of the shop is always evolving so we're still kind of shuffling where things go all the time. Mm -hmm. But, you know, a lot of like the things that we use all the time we want to have right here. Yeah, um, and you can just buy, you know, this stuff you're just buying online. Yeah. And then shoving it in. Just goes right there. Goes right there. Yeah, so Perfect. things that we use all the time are usually right here. We don't have enough wall space on here. Okay. So our solution to that was something I saw on YouTube a lot of woodworkers do. They make these cabinets with pegboard in it. And so we have all of these cabinets that we could pull yeah. out. Scissors and snips. Yes, yeah. and we're still, putting things away and organizing, Drivers, but all, your air all tools. the air tools. Wow. Um, so these are things that we use all the time, easy to get to. 
Same thing with spray cans. I yeah. hate having rattle cans in a cabinet where you have to like dig behind, they mm -hmm. all knock over. Yep. Same thing here. Whoa. We've laid this out so that, you know, we have primers, clear coats, spray release. This is uh, the 2K cans, Tamiya cans. So, you know, black, white, green, like just go through all of that. So this is an easy way for us to store a lot of spray cans. And again, back into SketchUp, I took a spray can and I put it in there and I tried standing it up, tried putting it at different angles, like tried to figure out what would be the best way to do it to take advantage of the volume of space it would take up. And standing them up straight mm -hmm. and doing a bunch of drawers ended up being kind of the best, best way mathematically. Right, and then easily pull out, you can know exactly what colors, yep. you can organize the colors. It's can, it, super visually, organ It's organized fast. and everybody knows right where things go. Very cool. Um, same thing with painting and electronics. We've started putting a lot of stuff on these little carts. Oh. You may have seen us using these things in yes. tested videos. We, this one's all soldering and stuff like that. And then these two are for airbrushing. They have our airbrushing yeah. carts. And these are not expensive carts. You can guys buy something like this from Costco. Yeah. I think this was like maybe 60 bucks at Costco. So, so useful. Yeah. They're, they're kitchen carts. Kitchen carts. But we take them. We can put them wherever in the shop. A, a lot of things like we have to paint something. Let's go over there. We have to paint like a little model thing. Let's go over here. Like mm. it's nice to have things on wheels that we can move around and then tuck back in. You know, you still have your storage yep. upstairs. We brought a lot of lights for our productions that we filmed down here for yep. our show, The Sold Effect Shop. You even added a railing. Yep. I know. <laughs> we got the railing up. People ask about that railing. Yep. Safety first. Never takes a holiday. Safety never takes a vacation. Um, got a big TV here so we can have the PlayStation and the movies and stuff. We do a lot of game, a lot of projects for video game companies. It's kind of nice to play a little bit and kind of get the feel for things. Mm -hmm. um, or if we're working on movies, sometimes we just want to put something on the background and keep inspired. And that keeps it a great work environment. I call this TV the distraction machine, though. Distraction so, machine. You gotta, I got to call out the size, the massive size of this, what is it, 65-inch 65 65. TV with the NES Classic tiny Nintendo system <laughs> right underneath it really accentuates. It's all about yeah. scale and perspective. Yep. Yeah. Um, and we, then you're, this year you've been doing a lot of lot uh, more digital, digital stuff. Yeah, yep. digital stuff. So we got a bunch of 3D printers in here. The Ultimaker 3 has been running a lot. I put it in this enclosure so it kind of keeps the temperature regulated. But we just got this thing to borrow. In the next couple of months, we're gonna be putting this through its paces. Um, it's a 3DP workbench. It's a giant meter by meter by half meter bed 3D printer. That's the bed size. This is the bed size and it'll go about half meter Holy tall. Holy smokes. So um, right now it's running something that we're gonna give away tomorrow at the RPF party. But we're gonna, me and Sean are gonna be putting this thing through its paces over the next couple of months and seeing what kind of crazy things we can build. I have a feeling a lot of stuff for the Martian project is gonna come off of this. Yeah, and of course you got your laser cutter. Yep. You have uh, makeup stations here. Yep. Tables, of course, you got the pool table. Pool table, which is usually still a work table. And people always ask like, how clean, how, is it, how hard is it to clean in a workspace like this? Tidy and clean. This is probably the cleanest I've seen it in months. Yeah, um, it took us about a day of all the guys just kind of shuffling stuff around to clean this. So it's not that disorderly that we can't clean it up in about a day. But I mean, generally I like to keep the shop tidy. Like if you have garbage all over the place, you're tripping on things, A, it's not a safe work environment. B, you know, having a messy shop doesn't mean you're busier. Yeah. Um, I like to take pride in, in the place that we work in, and we like to have the place nice, and we like to we like people to be here. We like, you know, I don't want someone to dread having to come to work here. I want clients to come in and think that this place is cool. So, yeah, we take a lot of pride in the shop. Now, is next step buying, a renting, leasing another space? I, is it expanding? I am gonna, signing a lease for another shop across the parking lot. I need more space, so I'm gonna have an, I'm gonna move all the clean stuff, the 3D printers, probably the vacuum former. Uh, like foam fabrication, all the cut and sewing and stuff like that over to the other shop. And this will just be more of the dirty things. Um, I think I need to buy a building. I'm starting to like, I'm, <laughs> I keep growing so fast and jobs keep coming in so quick. Yeah. Um, I mean, but I can't do this without the guys that work for me. Uh, we all work together and we have a really good time, so it's awesome. And you have just as much fun building the projects for yourself and for clients as you do building up the workshop. Yes. And it's I mean, a never ending want project. One of these? Yeah. Exactly. This is so much fun. Exactly. Hope you guys enjoyed this tour of Frank's workshop circa 2017. Who knows what it'll look like in 2018. <laughs> but you don't need a workshop this big to be productive. No. This is just what it means to scale up to over yeah. 2,000 square feet. You could be really productive in a small garage space, oh, yeah. in a quarter of this space. That's where you started out. Yep. Everyone's going to start out somewhere. Yeah. Uh, we'd love to see photos of your workshops. Yes. Things you do to keep your shops organized, what tools you use 
photos in your own spaces. Post photos in the comments below, and we'll see you in future projects from the space.